Today we're going to talk about something a little bit different. We're going to talk about genetics. Genetics deals with everything about how you look. Why is it you can be tall like your dad but look like your mom? Why is it that you might have red hair and look like your grandfather's hair color but not like mom or dad? And so we're going to talk about genetics, passing on of genes from one generation to another. And there's going to be a couple of lessons we're going to talk about with genetics. The first one we're going to talk about is how do we make the cells that pass on our genes? Well, quick reminder, as humans, we have 46 chromosomes. We have 23 pair that come into each cell. Half of your genes come from your mom, half come from your dad. So 23 and 23 gives 46. We're going to talk about how that works in this lesson. Now, just as a review, I'm going to compare this to something we've already seen. We talked about mitosis in one of our very early lessons in which we duplicate our cells, in which we take one cell and we end up eventually splitting it to get two cells. Here's how that basically works, but I'm going to use basic math instead of drawing all the cells. You have a normal cell in your body that has 46 chromosomes. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to double your DNA which is not normal, but you're going to double your, your DNA, and what's going to happen in a couple of minutes, we're going to split it in half, and what happens is you end up with 46 two cells that have 46 chromosomes, just like the original cell. This is mitosis. Most of the cells in your body, this is exactly how it happens. So you have 46 chromosomes that double themselves, and you get 42 cells that look just like the original. Most of the cells in your body do this. Well, the process of making sex cells, sperm and egg cells, is by the process of meiosis. Now, mitosis and meiosis get confused a lot, so let me explain. You're going to take a cell that has 46 chromosomes, and all human cells have 46 chromosomes. The first thing you're going to do is double your DNA. Why? Because you need to make duplicates. And then you're going to split that into 46 chromosomes and 46 chromosomes. You'll notice it looks just like the one on the left, mitosis. But then something happens after that. It splits again, in which you get 23, 23, 23, 23. This has half the chromosomes of the original. So here's what happens. In the testes of a male, the normal cells in there will du double, duplicate themselves, then they'll split, and then they'll split again. Sometimes this is called mitosis 1 and then mitosis 2. It does it twice, so the process looks like it's happening twice. And so what happens is for one cell, you end up getting four sperm cells. In a female, it works the same process, except slightly different. In the ovary, you'll have an egg that has 46 chromosomes. You have the cells in the ovary that have 46 chromosomes. They'll duplicate themselves because they're ready to make something new. And then they'll split, and then they'll split again. But a female does not make four eggs. She actually makes one. And so one of them is going to mature. The others are absorbed back into the body. But now it has 23 chromosomes. If that egg were to be fertilized, then it would get 23 chromosomes from the male, which would give that child exactly 46 chromosomes. And so the process of making sex cells is different, but it looks very similar to mitosis. The process looks the same, except it does it twice. You need to have make sure that you understand that it ha you've made an egg or a sperm that has half the chromosomes. So half the chromosomes from this parent is going to be put with half the chromosomes from the other parent, and you'll end up having a child with 40, 46 chromosomes. If you ever have a mistake in which you have more or less than 46 chromosomes, there will be problems. This is how the process should take place. We get half our chromosomes from mom, and half from dad. Now, just quick review. If we began, if this was a male, 
double your DNA, split and split again, in which you get all of these chromosomes, excuse me, that are found, half the chromosomes are found in four sperm. Well, there's millions and millions of sperm that have to be produced, and one will be one that would fertilize the egg. So in a female, the difference is only one of the eggs will develop in that cycle. The others are all absorbed. In a male, they'll all have the ability to uh, possibly fertilize the egg. And so this is the process of what is called meiosis.